Okay, so I'm going in here because I need to set the uh, over voltage protection and set it all the way up to max, I believe, which is 66 volts for my system. But I noticed something it only draws 22 watts on idle. I think that's less than my magnesines draw. That's pretty crazy if that's the fact. If this only takes 22 watts and that's what it's looking like. Like, this thing might not be 100% accurate, but I mean, it wouldn't be off, off more than 50%, which would be 30 watts. So I don't think this thing takes a whole lot of power at idle, which is really, really good. We are putting out, we are sitting at a low 44 volts. Um, so that might have something to do with it. It might take a little bit more higher voltage, but anyways, I'm going to find the over volt protection and turn it up. All right, check it out, guys. I got it hooked up. It's hooked up to my Magnusine breaker panel. So this is no longer reliable. This is now a Genentree solar inverter. The 8000 reliable is no more. So I got to relabel that. And this side is the Magnusines. So the Magnusines is one, two, three. And this is replacing all of them right now, or just temporarily. This is going to be more or less my backup inverter. This is going to be my main inverter still. This I will be testing out for a few weeks though. Might test it out for longer than that, I don't know. Fans just started. Wow, they're actually pretty quiet. I guess they only get really loud when it's real hot. We are running 1600 watts. That's right, my whole house right now. So we got one AC unit there. I gotta get my wife to turn on the 12,000 watt in one second. All right, so my wife's about to turn on the 12,000 BTU air conditioner. We're gonna see what it looks like on here. Should have a decent surge. And I missed it. Turned on. I ran over, it was set at 75 and I said put it down to 70 and it turned on, so it's too bad. But. Everything looks like it's running just fine. The fans are ramping up and down. I wonder if this fan is controlled by the um, the MOSFETs heating up and this fan is controlled by the transformer. They definitely have ramped up now that we're pulling 2400 watts. And let's see here. The magnet signs you can see are off. We got 1400 watts coming in here. This is the bank of Hyundai uh, Sonata batteries. These are from a hybrid. There's, I think I got 11 or 12 cars worth. This we have the uh, uh, Chrysler Pacifica, 16 kilowatt bank. This is the BMS for it. The 1300 watts going into the BMS after running the inverter. Take something serious there for a second. Anyways, let's go look at the other others here. And we got oh, there must be a cloud right now. Oh no, we're fully charged. That's why we're hitting full charge. You got 1,400 watts maintenance coming in here, and this one's still putting out. So I have this one, so it puts out all the way to 66 volts, and this one cuts out at 55.8 volts or 55.9 volts, something like that. So this one will put out power all the time. This one will cut out first. We are fully charged. We got about 12,000 watts on the roof. 12,800 watts of solar. Not on the roof, but all over the place anyways. Fans are starting to ramp up. Let's take a look at some temperatures. 108, 103 Fahrenheit. That is at 2,500 watts. That's looking pretty good. All right, so my wife's about to turn the toaster oven on. I'm starting to make some lunch. And we're gonna add another about 1500 watts to this. I don't know what's so balanced. This is a split uh, 3000 watts per leg. Oh, there we go. We've got 4000 watts coming out. My solar can keep up with this no problem. So it's gonna stay at about 65 volts. Sine wave still looks very good actually. And I will show you my Magnus sign, uh, sign wave after. It's very similar to this. 
it's looking very good. Pretty happy with this so far. 4,000 watts. So we'll look at some temperatures. Right here, 14. Now, I don't know what is acceptable and what's not acceptable. I think 115, 114 should be fine. Looks like it's the fans have gone into almost full. Uh, no, they're ramping up further. I guess we're not even full on the fans yet. That's pretty good. I just want to see that it, it holds the temperature and it doesn't just keep climbing. Let's go back. Look at the watts. Still 4,000 watts. That's no problem. Now, I am running this inverter at a much higher voltage than they designed it for. It does go up a higher voltage, but they said at a higher voltage that the FETs may get warmer than usual, so I, I, get, I keep checking. So there's 117. Oh, those fans get ripping. Oh, the amount of air coming out of here is insane. So we're, we're hitting, we're at 117 Fahrenheit. So this is not a quiet inverter when you're pulling lots of power, that is for sure. But, if they can keep this up, I'll be happy. Just know that you gotta, I would not put this beside your bed if you're gonna run it, that's for sure. Not like I would want to put any of this beside my bed really anyways. Seems to be doing a really good job though, I'm pretty happy with this so far finally figured out how to use the display. It was not hard. So our peak temperature is 117 so far. I cannot believe how much air movement these things can play. That's crazy. It looks like it really wants to try and keep it under 118. On the transformers, I guess these are MOSFETs. A, I'm not sure what that stands for, or one, two. Maybe motherboard, I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll give you updates as we go. Alright, so my wife's about to use the central back now. It takes a ton of power to start. Central vacuum cleaner. Any second now. Oh boy, here we go. 6300 watts. Didn't seem to have a problem at all. Now, keep an eye on these temps. Everything seems to be doing real good. I got nice thick cables on this thing. About zero gauge. We've got it running through uh, the 175 amp breaker, not the 250s, the 175. I can get away with that because I'm running a higher voltage. Transformer's getting warmer. Fans are ripping. seem to have any problems though. Sorry about all the buzzing. I do film with my phone most of the time, so you can get my actual camera. Looks like we finally get the batteries down a little bit. Let's see if that's actually true. Nope, that's just uh, sag. We got about a uh, three-quarter volt sag in the lines. That's not too bad. Something shut off in the house. Oh, the toaster oven must have shut off. Well, I'm okay with these temperatures, so I'm going to leave this be for a while. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll give you updates as I go. Well, I sure hope that this thing uh, likes this, this amount of load between 4,000 and 6,000 watts, because that's what my house does. It just does that. I don't know. That's my daily use, really. So, this 
this will definitely give this thing a good workout, and this thing will see surges around 10,000 to 12,000 watts. So let's see how it handles those. We might even pop this breaker because it's 175. Anyways, maybe I'll plug the car in later. That'll definitely put us over. That'll put us like 7,000 watts.